Roderick Reese is thankful for the day his doctor asked him to join a clinical trial study at Beaumont. He said, You'd be, I'd be perfect for a prostate uh, cancer prevention study because I was healthy, had no medical issues, and so I was happy because it would either help me personally as well as many others. Ten years into the study, a routine exam revealed Roderick had developed prostate cancer. You never think you're going to hear a doctor tell you you have cancer. Thanks to the twice yearly exams he'd been getting through the clinical trial, which led to early detection of his prostate cancer, Roderick's minimally invasive surgical treatment was a success. Had I not been seeing this doctor, had I not been in the study, had not been seen on a regular basis, and they found it too late, then the surgery would have been a lot more extensive, could have been a lot more damage to my urological system, and or it could have spread and I could have had uh, late stage cancer. Medical researchers want more minority patients like Roderick enrolling in clinical trials and allowing their tissue samples to be stored and studied here at Beaumont's Biobank. One of the major reasons for collecting the minorities is that they do respond differently to different drugs. They have different susceptibilities to various diseases, including cancer. And so by collecting just the, the large Caucasian populations, you don't get that information. Working with blood and tissue samples submitted with the consent of patients, Beaumont researchers use the very latest molecular and genetic analysis, discovering biomarkers that are crucial weapons in fighting cancer. You can analyze these specimens, these uh, samples, for DNA, for RNA, for protein, which is what we call biomarkers. These biomarkers are specific not only to the disease, but also to the individual. You can use biomarkers to detect disease that hasn't really come up yet or is very early. You can use biomarkers to tailor treatment that is individualized for you. And yet then you can monitor patients after treatment is, is finished to watch for reoccurrence of the disease. It comes down to personalizing medicine. You know, what we, do, what we can find out in, say, the Caucasians may not actually work uh, for African Americans because of their different genetic makeup. So it really is crucial when you're working at the genomic level to get that, uh, that broad racial uh, collection uh, so that you can represent all the different types of races. It's not about me, it's about uh, others. And so you've really got to be able to, to expand your collections to include all the different uh, uh, races so that you can understand the differences that exist between them. If you are undergoing cancer treatment at Beaumont, you can easily consent to have your tissue samples stored and studied at the biobank. In doing so, you may help not only yourself, but also people you'll never meet. Cancer treatment has improved immensely. Uh, nowadays, it's much more down to the individual patient, you know, how's the best to treat you? Is this good for you? In the old days, you would have just got your treatment and that would have been it. Collecting biospecimens is really part of individualizing the treatment because we can develop things that eventually we get down to that individual level. Really, the biobank is part of this whole process to personalize medicine. To find out if you are eligible for a clinical trial at Beaumont, or to learn more about offering samples to Beaumont's biobank, go to www.beaumont.edu slash clinical dash trials or call 248-551-7695. I'd like to be a part of, uh, the, a part of the culture that, that works with doctors and hospitals and scientists to make sure that we find a, a, a way to ease people's pain and ease, ease suffering and, and ease uh, causes of cancer. Um, why not be a part of this, uh, of this study? I just could not imagine not doing it.